Hello Blogineers, today we're going to unbox and review Exit the Game, The Sacred Temple by Cosmos. This is an escape room style jigsaw puzzle, and we have played Exit escape rooms before. We've loved all of them. It's one of the best escape rooms, but this is going to be our first time doing a jigsaw puzzle. So I'm not sure how this will work. Like, I don't know if it's the only components are the puzzle pieces, but I think there are other components. I think there's dials yeah. or something. Oh yeah, on the back you can see there's dials. but I'll get to the back in a bit so in the other exit escape room games you have to like destroy some components we have managed to preserve them but since this is a jigsaw puzzle I'm not sure if it requires destroying components or if it's replayable the difficulty level is three out of five and there's a short description on the front and it says can you complete the jigsaw puzzles solve the riddles and stop the theft of the precious cultural artifacts from the temple Going to the side, we can see that this game is for one to four players, ages 10 and up, and it takes two to three hours. And just like all escape rooms, this would be a cooperative game. Finally, the back of the box, you can see some of the components. So I guess there are a lot of things in this box, not just the puzzle pieces. Well, this is an escape room jigsaw. Oh, hold on. No, the back says this game can only be played once. To solve the riddles, you'll have to write on, fold, and cut the game materials. This makes it possible to have especially diverse riddles. The paper and cardboard components are recyclable. The jigsaw puzzle pieces remain intact and can be put back together as often as you like. So I guess to answer my previous question, it is not replayable but it might be possible to preserve the components if you want to play it again with someone else. Well, it, it might be say possible. that you do have to cut stuff, so maybe you can print. No, or, like or maybe it, you just have to damage the game. Who knows? On the back, there's a short description. It says, Crooked treasure hunters have broken into the office of your university's archaeology department. Your professor has disappeared without a trace. And so has a book with old records about a hidden temple. You must act quickly and chase down the criminals. Your pursuit will take you deep into a mysterious jungle on a small island. You must find the professor in time and save the revered treasures of the temple before they fall into the hands of the devious robbers. The content is four puzzles with 88 pieces each. So maybe this game has four parts with four puzzles. There are 12 riddle documents, three strange items, one decoder disc. I always love exit escape room games because of the decoder disc. The decoder disc basically tells you if you have a right or a wrong answer. And out of all the escape rooms, I think the decoder disc is the best mechanism for finding answers. And there's one rule book. So yeah, that is the contents. And I basically read the entire outside of the box. So it's time to see the inside. Finally. Oh, here are the jigsaw pieces. Yeah, so this is the first bag of puzzles. There's second a second bag. bag. This one looks like it has a big less. I don't know. I think they're all the same. This is another bag. Another and this is the bag. last bag. This one seems like it might be a jungle or something. It has a green landscape. This one, I have no idea. Maybe it's kind of yellowish. Maybe some kind of temple. Oh, is this, this definitely. Oh, temple. this piece has a railroad track, so I'm not sure. And this bag is awkward. It has a lot of. Um, pieces with B. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what each of these bags are or how we can tell the order. Oh, over here are the dials um, to put all the dials together to make one big dial. Oh, hold on. I think I might... Oh, wait a minute. This... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might have figured something out. This one says exit one temple B one, right? 
exit one, temple B one. That means that it's the first bag. So it's, yeah, maybe it's the first bag. In that case, exit two, temple B two, would be the second bag. Exit three, temple B two, would be the third bag because it's exit three. And exit four, temple B two, would be the fourth bag because it says exit four. Maybe that's the order of the bags, but I could be completely wrong because we haven't played this. Okay, over here, the stuff that holds all the dial pieces together. Oh, yeah. A weird oh, piece. this, okay. I think we sh it's important to not rip this. It's this very is thin. a clue. It's very thin. The rule book is here. Oh, and here's the stuff to put the dials, and I think they said some kind of weird artifacts or something. So the yeah, these are the dial pieces. Oh, hold on. It's actually like this. Oh, uh, so... Oh, so I think the, there's actually only two artifacts, and this is an artifact. Which it could be, actually. But no, it is. Could be, but I don't know. And that is pretty much the unboxing. There's four puzzle piece bags, some cutouts, including the dial wheel, a snake, a fire thing. Oh, maybe the fire you have a to rule cut. book. So I said, yeah. A very weird sheet with some clues, maybe. We have to be careful. The now. dial pieces. Some notebook looking stuff. Oh yeah, there's this thing. Right. It's a thing. There's this thing, and that's pretty much it. This seems like it would be an interesting game because it's the first jigsaw escape room that we would ever do. So we're going to do a live playthrough and come back with our review and final thoughts. And we're back. We just did a live playthrough of Exit the Sacred Temple, and here are our final thoughts. Brother, what did you like best about this game? My favorite part is how some puzzles have to do with the game box, just like all the other Exit games. Yeah, in every Exit game, like there's some puzzles where you have to look at the outside of the game box for clues, and it's always very clever, and none of the other escape rooms do that. But I think my favorite part about this is the jigsaw puzzle. Because in most escape rooms, you just get a whole bunch of random stuff and you try to solve it using those things. It could be like sheets of paper or maps. But in this game, you have basically two things. You have the jigsaw pieces and you have journal entries. The jigsaw pieces are great for people who love jigsaw puzzles, but also like solving riddles and mysteries. And the journal entry is just one of those answer mechanisms. And the jigsaw puzzle is really clever too because you can actually do things that wouldn't be possible in escape rooms that don't have jigsaw puzzles. There are like at least four puzzles that require you to do things with the jigsaw. It's super clever, but I cannot spoil anything. So if you get this game, you'll just have to find out yourself. And the last component about the game that I really liked was the wheel, the decoder wheel. And they have that in all the exit games, but as usual, it worked out great. And it's probably my favorite mechanism of finding answers in escape rooms. Now, at the end of the game, it took us way over three hours and we used a few hints. So I think we ended up getting four or five points out of 10 which isn't the worst, but it's also not great. But the good thing is that we had a lot of fun playing this game. So I guess we're not master escape room people if we only got four out of 10 stars, but it was still really fun. There's another jigsaw puzzle in this series by Cosmos. So we might play that in the future because we had a lot of fun with this. 
it's three out of five difficulty for the one we just did. The other one is four out of five. We already found this challenging, so the next one will also be challenging. Oh, you know, lastly, <laughs> I, I'm adding so many lastlies, but this game was challenging in two ways. One is that all the escape rooms, you're trying to think outside of the box to find answers and figure out what you need to do. But also the jigsaw puzzle itself was kind of tricky. So, well, some of them were, right, brother? Oh, one last thing. <laughs> one last thing. You know how the game says that you need to destroy pieces? Well, you kind of do, but not really. If you have like a printer, you can just Xerox some of the stuff so that you can replay it without having to get a new game. And that's what we managed to do. I think it's easiest to just destroy the pieces, but if you want to preserve it, it's definitely doable. Is that it? Yeah, that's oh it. yeah, one last thing. You can order this at the link in the description. Bye!